Okay, before we move on, I just want to talk about a couple important points. Regarding confidence intervals, okay. The first thing I want to talk about is the interpretation of confidence intervals. Okay. Now, by now, you should know that the interpretation of uh, confidence intervals is that we are, or I am, right? Whatever percent. Confident right, that the interval contains the population mean. Okay. What I want you to pay attention to is the phrase we are or I am whatever whatever percent chance confident, right? When you use uh, this phrase, essentially what you're doing is you're making a subjective statement. Right? About your belief. Okay? Now, a common mistake that a lot of, uh, a lot of people make is that so some would say there is a whatever percent chance that the population mean is in the interval. And this is an incorrect statement. Okay. The reason this statement is incorrect is that for a given population mean, Right. And a given interval, the population mean is either in the interval or it is not. Right. So essentially, this is a statement of fact. And so when you're talking about a statement of fact, there should be no probability associated with it. Okay? Uh, let's look at uh, an example to uh, hopefully see this point a little clearer. Okay? Suppose I have a variable x with a population mean of 820. Okay? And then my 90% confidence interval is the interval from 834 to 1125. Okay, so given this population mean and this interval, the population mean mu x of 820 is not in the interval. Okay, so when you are asked to interpret the uh, the result, you would say that we are ninety percent confident that the population mean is in the interval. Okay, and in this case, you would be wrong, but that's okay, right? This is your personal opinion, right? Okay, but in this case, the probability that the pop mean, that the population mean, 
is in the interval is 0%, right? It is not in the interval. And so it does not make sense to say that there is a 90% chance population mean is in the interval from 834 to 1125 okay okay so that's the uh, that's the first thing I want to I want to bring up the second thing I want to bring up is about the general formula remember that the general formula which is x bar plus minus z sub alpha over 2 times sigma x divided by root n. This formula only works if x bar is normal. In other words, it only works if the underlying variable is normally distributed. Or if the sample size is greater than or equal to 30 okay so before you use this general formula you want to make sure that uh, either of these conditions uh, is met okay